Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us evaluate two limits related to the functions ceiling and floor of a real number. The ceiling of a real number y is defined as the smallest integer not less than the real number y. That is, the ceiling of y is equal to the real number y plus a small fraction denoted as a braces y, a fraction uh, where this fraction is always between 0 and 1. That is a proper fraction. So, when y, this fraction value is 0, then we know that y is a integer. And when this fraction value is not 0, then we know that this y is not an integer. And the smallest integer that is greater than this value is the ceiling function. So, so that therefore, the ceiling function is always greater than or equal to the real value y and the equality holds when the fraction is 0 and it is always going to be less than y plus 1. That is when this fraction is not 0, the ceiling is always going to be equal to the nearest integer to this real value. But it will never be equal to y plus 1 when y is an integer. That is why it is always less than y plus 1. So, from this definition, we want to prove that limit as n tends to infinity, the ceiling function nx divided by n is equal to x. So, let us assume that y is equal to nx. That is, y is a multiple of the uh, number x, where n can be either an integer or a real number. So, so by extension, ceiling of nx is equal to nx plus a small fraction denoted by braces, nx inside braces. So, the limit on the left hand side can be rewritten as limit n tends to infinity nx plus this fraction that is nx inside a braces divided by n and this is equal to x plus limit n, st n tends to infinity the fraction divided by n. Uh, since the, uh, the fraction y is always between 0 and 1, so is the fraction nx. That is, a, I mean the fraction value nx. So, this becomes x plus. Uh, so, in the limit this becomes 0. Therefore, this is equal to x. Therefore, limit as n tends to infinity, the ceiling function nx divided by n becomes the quotient x. Similarly, the floor function is defined as the floor of nx is equal to the real number nx minus a small fraction, where this fraction is also between 0 and 1. And when this fraction is 0, then the floor of the real number is the number itself, where the, which mean basically means that this real number is an integer. So, in the, and then again the limit we want to prove is the limit as n tends to infinity, limit as n tends to infinity, the floor of nx divided by n is equal to x. So, uh, starting with the LHS, we have limit n tends to infinity, and using the definition, we have nx minus the fraction. Um, the fraction divided by n. And again, this is equal to x minus limit as n tends to infinity, the fractional value divided by n. Since this is always going to be less than 1, and between 0 and 1, this is the this value reaches 0 in the limit. So, therefore, limit as n tends to infinity, the floor of nx divided by n is equal to the quotient x. Thanks for watching.